combos into up tilt, into like up air, back air, and stuff like that. It's like, bro, why? Why does he get like everything off of down tilt and up and up tilt? Why? Yeah. So thumbs dumb. ups are exchanged as well as the fist bumps. We're gonna be going ahead and rocking right into this one. Just Omega has been through the gauntlet, going on the other such. But here we go into game number one: Nexus versus Just Omega. All right, starting off right now, uh, both players not committing at all. Never mind. As I say that, um, Justin Omega actually makes the mistake of using the side beat, gets punched for 45 damage right there. Got to be careful here. Down air into the grab, up throw, oh. back air. Oh my goodness, that is big damage. Nexus might actually be able to take out this stock relatively soon if he keeps this pace up. But right now, Justin Omega is going to be flipping that momentum a little bit. That shine did not hit them. Okay. Oh, well, it sure did on the second one. That's all that really matters. And now Nexus just fishing for that kill confirmed, but just Omega knowing that Nexus is hungry for that one. Oh, great DI in order to escape it out there, but the back here going to be avoided out instead. And then now just Omega, abandoned the ship. Going to be able to use it out there, so Nexus forced to recover back on stage. Trying to go for that hard read, but you can't mess up against Nexus because he's on point with those whiff punishes. Yep, that side B into the back here is going to close out the first stock, and Nexus is going to be racking up some extra credit. Let's see, he goes for the up throw. All right, down there. Okay! Oh, he's cooking! Hold on! Oh, okay, okay. well, there you Hits go. The you, last need, you need the fire for that one. It's exactly going to happen, but the advantage ship, a little bit of overcommitment happening on the Nexus's end, so. We'll be hopping back into that one. Has that control. Yeah, I love that F Smash just dare just Omega to try to find their way in. And now Nexus with this control. The Nexus side be oh the legendary and a great turnaround in order to confirm it out there. All right, goes for the Nair right there. See if we can try to close out with some edge guarding. No, looks like he's going to be doing some ledge play right now here. Oh, tries to go for the up tilt. Unfortunately, oh, doesn't connect. Great follow. Okay, 50% string coming out from... Um, just Omega right here, see if he can try to rack up some more before he loses the stock. Maybe utilize the Rage for an early kill, possibly? Yeah, trying to get it out there and just needs to threaten with it, nope. but the side beat going to get punished out there. A swift bear. That's going to punish the roll right there. And uh, unfortunately, Just Omega got some big catching up to do. Next is getting hit with the Mecha Koopa. All right, let's see. Okay, good dash attack coming out. He's definitely playing the ledge game big time. Good down tilt with the two frame. Oh, wait, hold on. The bench ship? Yeah, that's gonna be Ooh. it. Oh wow, okay. We're gonna bring it to one stock a piece per person. And uh both players gonna okay. be playing mano e mano. Oh, try to get the side B as a follow-up on that tech chase, but unfortunately won't be able to get it. But really good control on Nexus and yeah, chasing it down there. Here comes the fair as well. Has just a mega trap in this corner. Whoa. Recovering back onto the stage, a little bit of ballsy move, but now has been rewarded handsomely with that stage control and trying to get it out there. But Nexus just playing super comfortably right now, just kind of going here. Yep, landing oh, that grab. He's been shooting for quite here. a lot. So on point with these confirms. Nexus is no slouch to it as well. Once oh, again, wait, making oh. you think everything, making you rethink about, yeah, maybe I could drop shield on or not. Maybe he's going for another Tomahawk and he oh, mixes it up once my more. Oh, goodness. Oh, with the DI, great. Going to be able to survive. Just Omega's got to be careful. Nexus, uh, his ledge gameplay is insane. You can clearly see that he's catching every single one of Just Omega's uh, get-ups right there. Whoa. Goes for the spin out. Wait, hold on. Oh, hold, no. Hold chat. Oh, oh no, no tech, 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 no tech. tech, no He said run it back. He said run it back right now. Oh, my god. That goodness. was the problem right there when Nexus wow. gets really close to finishing stocks off. Has a tendency to let his guard down and... Got caught, caught slipping right there. Cause like, here's how it happened. Here's all what Bro happened. Bro got caught lacking. He uh, said, he said, you're not gonna kill me now. Don't worry, I got you. I think one of the biggest problems actually is this this usage of that up smash trying to get it out there. And honestly, teching out was the worst possible situation. Yep. That was so close. Thought that he was, was able to grab onto ledge. Too. I think I think Nexus thought it was gonna grab onto ledge, but yep. the delay on there when you use directional air dodge. And now Nexus immediately asking for that run back and already fired up already. Look at this, starting off strong, catching out the jump with that laser as well. That's the thing with Nexus, though. He's a momentum-based player, but if you cut off the momentum, it gets really difficult for him to come back. And already striding, fighting off strong Omega. Oh, goodness. Uh, Just Omega definitely right. Oh, my Ooh! goodness. Wow. Okay, right off the bat, Just Omega going to have that huge lead. That, uh, the momentum from the last game definitely carrying over big time. He said, if I can make that comeback, I am definitely going to close out this entire set, especially with the skin change from him switching to Iggy this time. Oh, uh, really needs to make something happen though, because, oh, look at this damage coming up. Surely this will not kill, right? Yes, thankfully, but 
Oh, danger situation, great stall on the recovery, but Stiff's it out there. Look at these moves that are landing on just Omega's end. Yes, wow. able to get it out there. Two stocks have just been eliminated in a matter of in less than a minute, by the way. All right, let's see. Goes to the up tilt and to the back. It doesn't kill. Wow, okay. Let's see if we can try to make it back on the stage. Oh, down there. Following it. it up into a fair. All right, that's going to be it. Two to one. Just Omega still got that huge lead. But let's see if we can try to just close out this last stock. Hopefully not have it end out and uh, not get, like, just reverse the rolls from last game. But right off the bat, no. looking like he's getting a huge, pers uh, huge damage right here. Not looking like... He's gonna uh, fumble the uh, the ball at all. It's really it's really harsh because Nexus wants to push that advantage state, try to get something going, but you can really easily kind of bait him into these really situations where you can he'll literally run into your hits. Like that's what we're seeing right now. He's trying to get in there, but the lackluster neutral on this character really rearing its ugly head. Able to lend that grab though, needs to make every second count. Every interaction needs to be made, but that trade working out in the favor of just Omega. And honestly, it's only about time where it happens. There is a clutch factor to be made, but the up smash out of shield is going to work out oh there. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. And just Omega did a little pop off, just getting up real quick. He said, yes, I'm going to get that. I'm going to bring it home, baby. Yep, oh, that's wow. how you know. So just Omega triple up on the stream and won every single one of them. Has a 100% win rate. But I think one of the biggest problems I kind of saw in the first game is that Nexus was really trigger happy on that up smash and actually was able to uh, lost out on a lot of momentum right there and that yeah, tech right roll here. out. That, that, that tech roll literally sealed the deal right there. Oh, he air dodged. No, that's why. If you watch right after the Phantom, he didn't air dodge, but... That was unfortunate right there. But yeah, this is a uh, game two right here when he played Larry and uh, the switch of this skin from both of them. So go for the grab up throw. Yeah, but here's like here's like the thing, right? Like you're literally just kind of running running into there and just a real that was yeah, really good over. Got the parry and it said, no, I need to keep holding shield so that multi hit or really good stuff on yep. there. Just Omega will be taking it over Nexus. Yeah, that uh Wow, Just Omega. That first game was an insane comeback. Wow, that complete a, momentum change. Oh yeah, it was a huge upset Definitely too. carried over to game two. Oh man, but feeding off of that energy is so really amazing stuff. Just Omega will be taking it over Nexus. And yeah, that's the power of MSM. Plenty of upsets, plenty of hype going out onto here. Well. That was right in there, but yeah, really good stuff opening on there. And let me tell you right now, if there's something that you got to be aware about, it's SoCal versus SoCal. Yep. It's a monthly that's being hosted by Steelcraft. It's a great venue. I've actually been there, you know, what to the last tournament that S2J was going to be at before moving out from SoCal. It's hosted by Top Shelf. <laughs> Make sure to go there March 18th, 2023. Y'all got no excuses. You got 12 days to schedule because of, I mean, 12 days. A little bit under two weeks, so you got time. Don't forget. And then also, um, definitely great tournament. And don't forget, with the big announcement for Wave Dash coming out today, register registration is now open. If you can, if you're one of the first 100, you will get uh, that early bird pre-reg. Mm -hmm. I'll um, tell you right now, it's, it's important. Ah, that's actually me right there, right next to the Yeah, right in the front, right there. That's me. I'm making it happen. But really good stuff. Shout out to everyone who's making it happen. But also, and it's gonna be here. That's it's gonna the, be here. Yes. The Holiday Inn in La Mirada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Game Lab, NPT, Club Smash, and Top Shelf, all the ones who are making this happen, you know. And I can't stress that enough. Thank you so much to everyone here who's making this happen. It's the community, it is the basis that is able to make all these happen. But amazing 